Electric vehicles are becoming the most sought after alternative for many users. Thanks to the fact that they emit less pollution than other vehicles, and that many of them have certain accessories that favor their autonomy during the journey, they have become popular in recent months. Therefore, due to the high demand for these cars, some fuel companies have decided to focus their efforts on refining a fuel that is suitable for these cars, and which can also be refueled. But is it possible to produce petrol with these capacities? And would it not be too expensive for the company that decides to carry out such a process? And what about the fuel typically used in such cars? Some entrepreneurs and manufacturers have previously commented on the need to produce a fuel exclusively for electric vehicles, but no one has raised the possibility of refillable gasoline on the table. Until now. Will we soon see cars using this type of fuel? It's still too early to answer that question, but for now, let's learn more about Influit Energy. In case you're not familiar with the company behind the first rechargeable electric fuel, Influit Energy is a startup company, which emerged with the help of the University of Illinois Institute of Technology in the United States. With a 195 meter laboratory located in the city of Chicago, the company has managed to create a flow battery with a certain material that they invented themselves. If you're wondering what we're talking about, it's a certain high-density liquid that is charged with a pulse while being pumped into a car with electrical capabilities. The fluid serves as a battery, and when it is discharged, it ends up in a storage compartment, where it is kept until it can be removed for recharging and use. While it may seem like a complete figment of our imagination, the truth is that the flow battery exists and is capable of storing two fluid charges, which separate as certain components dissolve to make way for electricity. These pulses are also stored to be released little by little. In doing so, the liquid passes through an electrochemical cell with an ion exchange membrane, allowing the energy to not be remixed. Now that we know more about the company and what they came up with, it is time to meet the faces behind the project. The first thing to note is that the three founders of the company are all linked to the Institute of Technology behind it. The first to mention is John Katsudas, who is the current CEO of the company, as well as the face of Influent. Then there is Elena Timofeeva, Chief Operating Officer, Director of Research and Development and Associate Professor in the Chemistry Research Department at Illinois. Finally, there is Carlos Segre, CTO, CFO, and Professor of Physics. These three minds are responsible for creating what is now known as the world's first electric fuel that has proven itself through testing. Quote, we have created a new type of flow battery, which is based on a composite material created in our laboratory. After unifying all the technology, we have a very clear path ahead of us. From the information they've published, we know that the fluid has nanoparticles that form one of the most active battery materials. Also called nanoelectrofuels, or NEFs, it seems that these tiny machines are responsible for such a feat. From what we have seen so far, it appears that the US startup seems to have considered all aspects of the plan to create, manufacture, and sell its flagship product. However, it is still too early to talk about numbers and the impact this fuel could have. Now that you know a bit more about it, would you like to try this Influent Petrol? Let's continue with the video. Due to their high-density liquid form and ample energy storage, NEF batteries can be used in a variety of devices without affecting their composition or the amount of pulses stored in the fluid. When charging at specialized stations, the fuel comes into direct contact with certain renewable energy elements, as well as with an electrical grid that has the capacity to draw or add more electricity without affecting the vehicle in question. As for the fluid that is taken out of the tanks, it is simply stored for other cars to use, or to be used for other finds. As director Elena explained, if the fluid has lost its charge and people do not want to remove it, they just have to go back to a charging station and connect the battery to the power module. This will be responsible for restoring the fluid's driving capabilities. Yes, it seems that the three founders have everything under control when it comes to their creation. At least so far, we have only seen the operation, capabilities, and features of the project. However, within their own statements, they made it known that the company is making a kind of itinerary in order to leave the fuel in optimal conditions. 
so what? To start mass production and subsequent commercialization, so that it can be used in cars, cargo trucks, and even airplanes. As long as it is a device that requires electricity, you can use it. As we told you, they have it all planned. As for the projects the company has planned for the next few years, it is known that the US government has awarded it several contracts, totaling at least $10 million in funding. This is because it wants to fund the design and creation of the first batteries for testing. Today, some government agencies use batteries made by Influit in cars and planes, so their relationship is expected to be long and fruitful. Similarly, one of the institution's most important goals is to commercialize the technology. As such, they have developed at least five separate projects, which, although they do not seem compatible with each other, were actually born to build a closed-loop energy ecosystem which at some point may also be launched in the market. Quote, we're using multiple small business grants to demonstrate different elements of this closed loop energy ecosystem. But it takes time when you're trying to do something transformative and new like this, Segre explained. Each of our contracts is funding a different aspect of the overall development of that ecosystem, Katsudis added. A few months ago, in June 2022, the Influent Energy team finally succeeded in their first test of the NEF Flow battery, built for a utility vehicle with electric features. This victory not only gave them a deeper insight into their creation, but also allowed the rewards to start piling up. Today, the company is hiring new scientists who can help with its mission and goals, while looking to expand and its modest lab to nearly 2,000 square meters. And we come to the last section of the video. With all that Influent Energy announced about its creation and the marketing plans it has for its fuel, we can deduce that the company has already negotiated the use of its product with certain businesses and automotive firms. In any case, we can guarantee that this fuel is safe, with all that energy in it, because they might have one problem or another. Anyway, now that you know more about this petrol proposal, what would you do with it? Would you try it out to see how it works in your car, or would you rather stick with the alternatives you already know? Comment below what you thought of the video, and if you have a topic suggestion for the next piece of content, add it to your post. We appreciate the support you always give us, and if you like the shared material, we recommend you subscribe and leave your thumbs up. See you next time!